This week, we're going to take a look at a game that we reviewed last year that turned out to be a delightful Super Meat Boy style platformer. Just don't look too close at the main character. <laughs> what the heck? Spawning season is right around the corner here on the Bean Farm. And this is our review of... Graham! I'd like to thank the publisher for providing me a review copy of the game. Art Games. It was developed by... Three Leg Egg. Yet puts up. This game re-released on March 30th on the PS5 and Xbox Series X for the budget price of $4.99. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, bean farmers, it's wham bam glam time. <laughs> Whoa, Dad, what are you doing? You already reviewed glam back in this video. Don't you remember? That's right, Timmy. We really don't do revisit titles here on the farm, now do we? Other than Brayflex, but hey, he's special, isn't he? <laughs> But you're right, we already reviewed Glam on the Nintendo Switch almost exactly a year ago. So I was thrilled to kind of see it come into the PS5 and Series X to, I don't know, maybe take advantage of the modern architecture and solid frame rates? <laughs> yeah, seeing what I'm seeing here? Uh, from my experience, I'm just going to go ahead and say that this is a direct port. And everything that applied to my Switch review still holds true on the PlayStation and Xbox. Only this time, the Joy-Cons really aren't a concern. <laughs> Let's take a little look at the highlights of that review. The game doesn't really start out with much of a storyline, but honestly, does anyone really pay much attention to the weak storylines for these side-scrolling platformers in the vein of Super Meat Boy or Celeste? Reading in between the lines with the minimal explanation on the, the Xbox and PlayStation Store what the press papers the developer sent, it goes something like this. Team B. In this game, you play as Glam. Her goal is to rescue her mother from the realm of Katarina. Catalina. She is being held captive by an evil witch to prevent Glam and her mother's power to unite. Wow! Okay, I got it! Mom got captured by a witch! Well, I guess that certainly explains why I'm dressed in a miniskirt, halter top, hoop earrings, and high heeled streetwalker boots, because that's probably the outfit I'd pick too if I was going witch hunting! <laughs> right? Wrong, sir! Wrong! Alright, anyway. Glamp does do a moderate job of mixing up several well-worn platforming tropes into a well-polished 2D pixel art platformer. Delivering solid platforming, wall climbing, goblin bouncing with hair swinging. <laughs> the game does a moderate job of creating a pretty playable experience. And now that the game has been released on multiple platforms, like all of them, <laughs> you have a choice as to where you want to play it. Not to mention the levels have a nice, difficult Ramp. Nice! As you'll start to notice the amount of times you die, and this is a re-release, so I originally did have some harsh criticisms for the previous versions. Luckily for us, the Xbox and PlayStation versions have solid full-size controllers, which totally eliminates the concerns I had for those pesky little Joy-Cons. <laughs> Look at those stupid little buttons. Man, my hand is cramping just thinking about it. During many jump sequences, you'll easily mix three to four button presses, so luckily you can customize this to your own local preference in the options menu. <laughs> Good job, guys. But even with the custom button layout, my ability to jump, swing, jump, climb, swing, bounce, swing, climb, it all within a split second of each other felt like a huge difficulty spike. What's going on? Glam's platforming game style is very similar to other games in this genre, but can start to be a bit frustrating by the multitude of combos required to make these jumps. Now, if you happen to be playing this on the Switch or the Steam Deck, please consider Pro Pro Bow Bow. The difference between playing with a Joy-Con and a Pro Controller really is night and day. Glam graphics are a stylized muddle of pixelated pastel watercolors, which, although standard, they get the job done. 
I've been on a roll of banging out on the chipset background music as glam was filled with it, but actually the modernized rock and pop influence matches the theme, so okay, it works. I originally played about 10 minutes of the game, then immediately dismissed it, handed it to my daughter telling her, you're in charge of the review, so... It's not fair. It's not fair. Hey, that's not fair. How about you get your subscribers up, then we'll talk. After about 20 minutes, she handed the game back to me and said she wasn't interested and was really getting frustrated with having to jump, swing, grab, jump, swing, jump, grab, swing, jump, swing, jump, swing, jump bounce, grab, swing, bounce, grab, swing, jump. Only to miss the platform and have to restart the level. <laughs> I wonder why she's so frustrated. <laughs> Probably because of this guy. It's the Brain Buster. Glam is definitely not for everyone, and I'm pretty close to saying that if you really enjoyed this kind of mental punishment, well, uh, we've got a big bowl of strawberry laxatives for you right here. <laughs> you freak. Ew, yucky. Overall, the gameplay in Glam is tight for what it is, and each of my 429 deaths all felt like it, it was because of my lacking of timing and rather not than some Mortal Kombat level of character animation. This isn't the game for everyone, but if you have the time, patience, skill level, and don't mind your girlfriend rethinking your relationship status... Nice! <laughs> you guys were waiting for that one, weren't you? The PS5 and Xbox Series X releases allows Glam to go ahead and dance on the new consoles, but in the end, I'll just reiterate that I was originally discouraged at the ideas of playing as a glamorous glitter bomb troll with hair swinging superpowers. <laughs> but hey, gameplay here is king. And if you enjoy a little challenging indie game like Little Super Meat Boy <laughs> or Celeste, I encourage you to take the plunge and swing into glam as she left the farm with three and a half. <laughs> Beans and the five. Yeah, well, that wraps up that review right there. <laughs> Here's some notes I took. <laughs> where I put the keys to the truck. <laughs> so, you know, we make these new review videos every week. So, if you're an indie developer or there's something you want to see... Fortnite, Dad. Do Fortnite. Oh, we ain't doing no Fortnite. Let us know your thoughts and recommendations in the comments down below. Be sure to visit again next week as we continue to take humorous stabs at some of the industry's new and upcoming Somatically titles. Somatically must. Somatically must. Stay safe out there. We'll see you next time on, on the, the farm. farm.